Welcome to YCTV, here coming at you live from Austin, the city of Austin, not the guy. Uh, we are here with Juliana Riolino. Uh, how are you feeling? What's it like? How was your trip here? What's going on? Well, we got in a few days ago, and uh, I've had a couple days to acclimatize to the pressure, the air pressure. Now I'm fine. I'm, re I'm ready to go. I just want to do it. So we're here at the Swan Dive. This is where your first showcase is this evening. Uh, tell me who uh, who's in your band, what's going on, what's going to be happening up there? All right, well, we have a stacked stage up there. We got uh, Roddy Rossetti on bass here, Stephen Kuster on the pedal steel, Corey Wells on guitar. We have Daniel Romano on percussion and vocals, Carson McCone on percussion and vocals, Ian Romano on drums, Kenneth throw me in on the sound. How are you feeling, Kenny? Feeling real good about it. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm just wondering here, uh, what's your taco count at? Boy, um, at least it. I feel like I'm in the double digits now. I think maybe like a dozen or a baker's dozen. Yeah. And I know that you had a brilliant performance last night at the South by Southwest Festival over at the Swan Dive. Um, how do you think about that? I think about it and I feel good about it. It was a lot of fun. I, it's my impression that the audience uh, were receptive to your music. They seem, yeah. I saw a lot of smiles in the crowd. I think, I think it had something to do with the maraca action happening though. Well, that's very flattering but <laughs> I think it probably had more to do with the, so the songs and other, uh, the other people doing s slightly more interesting things it was a lot of fun i love playing music with my friends amen this is amazing ding dong who's there i'm here with daniel romano uh and i'm here to ask him a couple questions about uh south by this is an unofficial showcase right so we're officially unofficial and that's the way we like it in the outfit. How do you feel about about today? Well, I have a bit of a kink in my neck, but I'm trying to I'm trying to work it out. Drinking a lot of water, staying hydrated, and I guess we're just going to sort of have to see how it goes. Have you been to South by before? Nope, first time. <laughs> first time here. Uh, everybody seems really welcoming, and um, I think there's crawdads over there seems like they're boiling up there's the gumbo there's gumbo i think it's gumbo that's not a taco though is it the no it's not well, but you know the two things go hand in hand gumbo and rock and roll they're uh, synonymous they were originally gonna call rock and roll gumbo yeah. but then they changed their mind yes they did This is Julie Dewar on YCTV Correspondent, and we're here live in Austin, Texas, where we just saw Daniel Romano's outfit perform here at the White Horse. Uh, and uh, the audience, I think, loved this show. 
you can never go wrong with Daniel Romano's outfit. And I'm so glad to have been here to experience this. And there's a lot of wind happening, storm of brewing, and the energy in the crowd was amazing. The energy on stage was amazing. I can't believe that I, I'm actually, every time I see Daniel and the whole gang play, gang, I call them gang, you know what I mean, the outfit play. I'm always honored to know them. <laughs> I feel like now I'm bragging. So anyway, here we are. Oh, I think they might be loading out right now. Let's go see if we can catch them for a moment. I think we can maybe see. We've got Daniel over here right now after an amazing show. Let's see if we can get, oh, hang on here. We're having a photo t taken. Oh, well now we're watching. Oh, we've got Juliana here. Juliana, you just came off stage. How do you feel? I'm Why CTV feel here? tired. Oh, but it was amazing. But I feel good. I feel really good. Yeah, no one could tell that there was any uh, fatigue. It was just energy. Yeah, I, I feel fatigued after expelling all the energy, but like, I feel good. Ultimately, I feel great. Which is an amazing feeling. I think that's good. That's partly why playing live music is so fun. It is, yeah. That's the reason we do it, folks. <laughs> and uh, shall we try and talk to any of the uh, band members? Here we go. Uh, we've got Daniel right here. We've got Carson McCone here. We're here from YCTV. I'm here, Julie Brown, YCTV correspondent. Nice to meet you. What do you have to say after that amazing performance, everyone? Uh, let me think. Uh, let me think. Okay. I'm going to give you a second. I hope I hope people liked it, and uh, I'm pr proud of everybody in the group. <laughs> everybody did a bang up job. I thought. Yeah, yeah I th you know what? I was in the audience, and everybody did a bang up job indeed. To quote, to quote you, I think. Bang up job. I was happy to be here. I saw your show last night. It was real good. Oh shoot! This is not an interview about me. Well, we're all. Here. Julie Duran, on YCTV correspondent. <laughs> No, but honestly, uh, this has been amazing. I'm glad I got to witness it. And I'm always glad every time I see you play. Can I just go into a little bit of personal data here? Um, I've known Daniel for quite a while, and I'm always honored and proud of you. I'm so proud of you, I'm actually. Of you. I feel like a mom, even though I'm not your mom. I feel like a mom every time I want <laughs> No, I'm just excited for you guys. Anything? Should we just go on any other? Anyone else here? I just want to say that you have beautiful hair. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, you know what? I used hotel conditioner, though. I mean, yeah, it's working, it's working you for you, it. yeah. So you more. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else would like to add? Roddy, how did you feel up there? I like to have a good time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm glad. And Carson, Carson, you also did an amazing show. All right, I'm scared at 11. <laughs> In your hometown as well. Yeah, it was good. It felt good. It's nice to be home and bring my new, bring my new home here. Yeah. My new homies my old home good well you you <laughs> anyway I loved it and I'm so happy I got to be here and thank you so much <laughs> Woo! so here we are at YCTV signing off Julie Duran correspondent I had so much stuff <coughs> in my chest. Yeah. Oh, it's all that desert. I had a cough. I had a cough the entire time. We were out there. Really? Yeah. <coughs> Fine until I'm not. And that's not yet, so. <laughs> Every day. The Buddha said that. You're fine until you're not. See, I feel like I've done more than three of these. <laughs>
Hello, this is Roddy Rossetti reporting live for YCTV, coming at you live from the sale priced vinyl section of Waterloo Records, where artists such as this one here go to die. Um, but on a lighter note, we are here to witness the birth of a new artist. Uh, Juliana Rialino has just finished her in-store debut at Waterloo Records, and uh, the fans went wild. Millions of dollars of merch was sold, and... Uh, Jules hand is now permanently in the form of an autograph signing and uh, things went really well the band was great uh, Colin looked great out in the audience and uh, up next is Carson McCone and we can't wait to see what she does next <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're live. The Outfit just finished their set here at uh, Sea Boys for South by Southwest. We're going to interview two of the attendees. Follow me. Hello there, ma'am. Uh, the Outfit just performed. I'm just curious, why the long face? There you have it. <laughs> 